What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and today has been one hell of a day for me. I've literally, I've just suffered through servers being flooded at work and all sorts of hair raising stuff, and it's really late here, and I was planning to do another World of Warcraft video today, but it's so goddamn late, I need sleep, and I figured, you know what, I'll do a vlog on something that I've actually wanted to speak about for a while. So anyway, here it is. Today's topic is a gaming dictionary. So, you see, as an Esperantist, we, we use dictionaries a lot because obviously it's not our native language, it's a secondary language, so we, we pull up dictionaries and look up terms that we don't really use often in conversation. And there's one particular, well, there's actually two particular dictionaries I love to use online. So there's one that's called um, Computeco, which is basically just computer-related um, vocabulary, and then there's Votado, which is um, based on the old PIV, the Plena Illustrita Votado. Votado. And I love both of those dictionaries, like the, the PIV or the Votado, that one's great for like general usage and also some scientific terms and stuff like that. Computeco is great because we live in an internet age, you need to look up like uh, for instance parts of the computer, aspects of working with certain documents and stuff like that when you're talking with other Esperanists. But as I've been making this channel, I've been thinking about certain words that I need to teach here and there. And they're all gaming related words like um, latency, you know, like, uh, so yeah, like latency was one that I bumped into today. Or another one was dungeon or instance, okay? And then I think, hmm, what's the word for this? And I'll go look it up in Vortado and there'll be like nothing, okay? Like, they'll, or there'll be something related to dungeon, but the traditional sense of like an underground um, prison type of thing, not like dungeon or instance in the gaming sense. And then I'll go, obviously, Computeco doesn't have anything like that. So I'll go look at Wikipedia. And sometimes you'll get lucky, you'll look up like um, articles on games and you'll be like, oh yeah, they mentioned that term in there. So you'll, you'll be able to pull it from that article. But most of the time, you just can't find what you're looking for so you just end up modifying words based on your interpretation of what it means actually like for instance instances like a a, um, a cut-off area within the gaming environment from the rest of the gaming environment where generally a group of people go in and they defeat a boss and it's kind of like a big maze so you kind of try and find these words that might fit but you're not 100 percent sure is someone else from other language backgrounds going to understand it and it's got me thinking we really really need like a gaming dictionary now i know gaming is one of those things where words are just kind of created as they go and people just start like using whatever pops up in the community but for Esperanto it's a bit different because all the games for instance I play well nearly all of them are in English and most other countries I'll play games and they'll be in like French or German or, or Chinese or whatever but they're in their native languages there's not that many games that are natively in Esperanto there is some but not that many so it got me thinking we need like a gaming dictionary just so that when we're talk when we're playing like for instance an English game and I look down I look at the latency I don't have to sit there and go what does latency, how would I translate that mean? Like, I don't have to sit there trying to guess what it is. It would be good to be able to look it up once, go, oh, okay, so that's the standard, and then just use that moving forward. Like, for instance, with the dungeon instance one, I've been trying to find a word for that. I've been um, consulting, like, uh, experienced Esperantists, but the problem with most experienced Esperantists is they're not from a gaming background, so they're like, I'm not sure what you're trying to communicate here. What are you trying to tell me? What is this thing? So then you'll go and look at like, for instance, like I mentioned Wikipedia and stuff like that. And most of the time it's just hit and miss. And you're just kind of bouncing around trying to figure out what would be the most suitable word for something that just seems so simple in a gamer's mind. So I was thinking perhaps a few of us, like me included, like maybe and a few of you guys, we could set up like a wiki somewhere or something like that or maybe um, if one of you guys are programmers you could launch like an online dictionary for gaming terms and then as we encounter these we can just enter them into this dictionary and then basically it will slowly start to fill up and then instead of me for me or maybe a couple of the other YouTubers who do Let's Plays, instead of trying to invent words on the run or just all using different words when we're trying to use, like, talk about the same subject, we can just reference this one dictionary. I reckon that would be an awesome dictionary and it would certainly get a lot more use within the coming years because a lot of Esperantists, like the newer ones that I've met, they're all into games. So I reckon this is one of those dictionaries that would definitely take off. Anyway, I'm an ideas man. I don't have that much time in my day to work on something like this because I would. I'd probably sit down and 
fire up a WordPress site with some plugins and stuff like that and try and build it, I don't know. Um, but I just don't have that much time, like literally, it's almost midnight here. So yeah, anyway, I thought I'd throw that idea out to you guys in the community, see what you're thinking, because I know a fair few of you are new um, to Esperanto, so you probably don't realize that, for instance, Esperanto is very fleshed out in international politics and all that type of stuff in medical terms. That's all fully fleshed out there, but gaming is a new thing and it hasn't quite caught on in Esperanto, which is surprising because it is like a multi-billion dollar industry. It's overtook the film industry just recently, well not recently, like five years back, and how much money it makes worldwide. So we really need like a gaming dictionary. So perhaps me and a few of you guys, we can come together somehow and we can build this gaming dictionary just so that when we're moving forward, we've got some type of standardized form. Anyway, that's just my ideas. I'm just throwing them out there. Let me know your thoughts on this matter. So if you've liked this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, Share it around with your gaming Esperanto friends, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well, then you better hope lag gets me because I'm gonna get you. <laughs>